Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey, Brainiacs! Are you ready to learn about one of the coolest scientists ever? Grab your thinking caps, because today we're diving into the life of the one and only Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany, in March of 1879. As a kid, he spent most of his time in Munich. Did you know that some people thought he had speech problems because he didn't talk until he was four years old? Well, Einstein himself said he could talk before that. He just didn't want to. And guess what? He didn't start reading until he was nine. His parents even worried he wasn't very smart. Einstein's father owned an electronic store, and young Albert became fascinated with science when his dad gave him a compass at the age of five. That's when his journey into the world of science began. Fast forward to 1894, the Einstein family moved to Italy, and Albert's interest in mathematics grew. He finished his education in Switzerland, graduating from the Polytechnic Academy in Zurich with a degree in math and physics at 21. It's pop quiz time. Are you ready to test your knowledge? Albert Einstein was born in Ulm. A. True. B. False. Did you select the option A? Yes, you are right. But Einstein wasn't just a genius. He was also a bit disorganized and even failed his first college entrance exam. His first job was as a clerk in a patent office. Imagine that. One of the greatest minds working a regular job reviewing other people's inventions. During his time there, he developed many of his own ideas and discoveries. Einstein got married twice. His first wife, Mileva Maric, had two sons with him, Hans Albert and Edward. Later, he married his cousin Elsa Blumenthal, and they had a daughter named Margot. Einstein was Jewish, and during World War II, he moved to the United States to escape the Nazis. In 1940, he became an official U.S. citizen. One of his most significant contributions to science was the theory of relativity, which includes the famous equation E equals to mc square. This theory changed how scientists studied the universe and led to the development of nuclear energy. It's time for another quiz. What did Einstein's father give him that sparked his interest in science? A, a telescope. B, a microscope. C, a compass. D, a chemistry set. Did you select the option C? Yes, you are right. Einstein's discoveries were crucial to the creation of the atomic bomb, even though he was against war. The bomb was used during World War II, and while Einstein didn't invent it, his work made it possible. But let's talk about that famous equation, E equals to mc square. The C stands for the speed of light, the fastest speed in the universe. E is energy, and M is mass. In simple terms, it means that a small amount of mass can be converted into a huge amount of energy. Einstein also discovered that light is made up of particles called photons. At first, many scientists didn't believe him, but he was eventually proven right and won the Nobel Prize in 1921. Alongside another scientist, Satyendra Bose, Einstein discovered a new state of matter, which we now use in lasers and superconductors. Despite his scientific genius, Einstein loved music and played the violin and piano. He often said if he weren't a physicist, he'd be a musician. He died at the age of 76 in 1955, but his brain was preserved for study because scientists wanted to understand why he was so brilliant. They discovered that his brain was indeed different from most people's. In 1999, Time magazine named him the person of the century. That means they thought he was the most interesting person of the last 100 years. All right, it's last quiz. What is the famous equation from Einstein's theory of relativity? A, E equals to MC cube B, E equals to MC square C, E equals to M square C D, E equals to C square M. Did you select the option B? Yes, you are absolutely right. Einstein's journey shows that even if you struggle at first, hard work and curiosity can lead to greatness. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and who knows, you might be the next Albert Einstein. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids tablet.
my mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.